Hey there YouTube, Mateo Man here. So, you found yourself playing Ravenfield and trying to get the mods to work, but they're not working. Here's a quick little fix to get that working for you. So right off the bat, you have your mods button here, and you likely did find this where you could see your list of mods that might be listed in here, and you'll want to make sure that they are all enabled. And when they are enabled, you'll reload the mod content in order for those to be active. Next, if you're not seeing them there, then underneath Steam is where you're going to want to go. Underneath the workshop, you'll say, okay, you've subscribed to a number of mods and selected them out of this list of the modding community. Well, go to your files and click subscribed items to see the list of everything that you have potentially here. You'll make sure that this list is actually populated with those mods in order to tell if you're subscribed to them. Next, under your mod list, you should have those two matching each other. From here, clicking play and instant action, I'm just going to do an example on this level here. If I clicked play, those mods might not work right off the bat, and the reason is you need to make sure you have them selected as available vehicles, weapons, and mutators. So if I click my mutators here, I'll have the vehicle spawner as one of the options I can click. If I go to vehicle selection, I'll see that the vehicle options underneath, let's say, the Jeep here, I can actually select the different modded vehicles available right off the bat. So right here, I'll select several of the modded vehicles. And then under the weapon selection, same thing. We could see that every single one of my modded weapons that I brought in are currently turned off. Now I'm just going to toggle them all on so everything's available to everyone right off the bat. Now let's go ahead and click play. And you should see that when you jump into your level, from your weapon selections, sure enough, there are your new modded weapons as a selectable option. So I'll go for this nice tactical weapon here. And I don't think I have any equipment for this particular setup. But then when we go over here and check out the vehicles, sure enough, there's our modded tanks available for us right off the bat. And ooh, that's a pretty awesome looking rifle. I haven't tried this one yet. But this is the great thing about Ravenfield and its awesome modding community. We have all of these cool modded vehicles and weapons that we can jump into. And we'll see that all of our teammates and the enemies can use them. So keep that in mind, not only do you want to have them subscribed from the actual Steam community on the workshop, but then you'll also need to make sure they're selected in Ravenfield as applicable mods. And then for the level that you're playing, you'll want to configure to make sure that you actually have the mods turned on. Alright, well that was a quick tutorial from Mateo Man here, I hope that helped you out. And if you enjoyed the video, please click like and let us know, or if you want to see more content like this, click subscribe. And of course, if you didn't enjoy the content, please leave us a comment to just let us know what you would rather see instead. Alright, hope you have a good one. Peace.